Hi, so today I will show you how to solve um, an F4, uh, Omnibus F4 V2. This one is a clone one, this is the um, one from uh, China. There are lots, it's very famous because uh, it's sold, it's uh, sold, it's sell, sold by lots of uh, Chinese sellers. Sorry, excuse my English, it's a bit old now, so I'm trying to do it in English to help lots of people. So please be nice. First step, we will do, we'll do a check out about what we need. So we will, yes, you need a soldering iron. You need, uh, I'm using an ST link from the discovery ball. This is the ST connector, so we, are, we will use. This is a discovery ball. This discovery board needs to be modified, I mean, not modified, but configured. You need to remove these two jumpers here. So you remove them and now, and now you are using the ST-Link on this, on this type of board. Uh, we will use this connector and instead of programming this chip, we will program the one on the board. <coughs> so we need first this one. Of course, we need the USB cable that are going with this. I will show you what's happening with this board. Okay, it boots up and then flashes a few times and just stop. So probably pro problem of, of firmware programming or something, there's something wrong. So what we will do is we will inject the firmware through this board directly to this one. So to do so, <clears throat> we will use the very little pads that you can hardly see here. Uh, one is called one is three volts, one is ground, the other one is SDIO and SWC. So three volt is power, ground is ground, of course. SWSIO or S, it's not very clear. Uh, this one is input output, so this is data, and the other one SWC is the clock. So we will connect, we will uh, solder wires here, and connect these wires to the uh, to the main board to the discovery board. So I will write down the connector here. Okay, this is coming from an internet uh, website, so. Pin 1 of connector is VDD, this is from target, so it's supposed to be 3 volts, okay? Pin 2 is SWC, sorry, so this is the software clock. Pin number 3 is ground, pin number 4 is SW. I O or D Y O doesn't matter. Pin number five is negative reset. We won't use it. And pin number six is also uh, S W O, and we won't use it. Those two, we won't use the pin number five and pin pin number six. So the connector we are talking about is this one. So V D D clock. Input output or data, uh, sorry, VDD, clock, ground, data, and negative reset. We won't use it. So we will use this four, three, four, 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 one. Okay, let's solder these jumpers on the board and connect it everywhere. Here we are. So now you need uh, some skill. Some soldering skill, this is very important. This is the hardest part, so be careful with the tin, don't put too much, otherwise you will you can make a bridge between pins. So the most important is to, to connect all these very small pads that you can hardly see. They on the new board it's written um it's written what they are. Yes, here we go.
So now, next step is to connect our discovery ball, as we said it before. Um, just make sure there's no short. Okay, uh, it's the ground and three volts are very, very close. Okay. Okay. <coughs> now, we said VDD is supposed to be the target port. Uh, VDD is the white one. Number two is the clock. The clock is the yellow one. This one. All right. Now this is uh, the ground. And the force is input output, so this should be working. Wow, one pin is out. I have to restart it again. Well, this one is gonna be hard because of the clock in front of it. All right, let's start it again. I didn't put too much uh, tin just to keep it clean so it's not very strong eh? uh, it's not supposed to receive any mechanical uh, stress here we are Is connected so now we will use this uh, I will use the ST link utility STM32 ST link utility check if everything is connected and see if it works of course here we go so double check you are on ST link mode right moment I cannot see anything no smoke that sounds good it smells good this is not working on first time because maybe I'm not sure the VDD needs to be connected I think the board need to be powered up so we will power the board and try again here we are. SD link. All right. So I will try to show you what's on the display on my computer and show you some setting the settings of my computer. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. Yes, my. Sorry, yeah. Uh, the mobile phone support is very clumsy. Well, I would be happy if it doesn't fall down. So we are now connected. I will show you the parameters. First, we go into um, target settings. You need to set a few settings. Okay, ST Link serial number. This is because my board is connected here. So next step is uh, use SWD, okay? SWD port connection connection setting is software debugging. Frequency is very important to mo modify the frequency and put put the lowest frequency. At the beginning, it wasn't working because the initial settings are a bit higher. So you, I use, I'm using zero zero five kilohertz. So it's very slow, but it's working very well. Uh, mode connect under reset reset mode hardware reset uh, gener generate trace log file which doesn't really it doesn't really matter so let's click ok it will restart and see what's happened 
Here we are. Now we have our ST link which is connected. He's is he can it can see our device which is an STM thirty two F forty four hundred and five. So we will flash it with the firmware we want. So the firmware is the X file. So let's go into uh, a file, open file. I'm using the Omnibus F four one. Yes, this one. Okay, he's reading the file, and now we will uh, flash the firmware with the program and verify. So we'll go in the menu target, program and verify, and here we go. So <clears throat> I have changed the option of uh, the speed. I have changed the speed of the uh, ST link in parameters. I switch it to uh, settings. I will and I put it to 100 kilohertz, and it was working. So I've been lucky. Okay, so connection is lost. No worries. Uh, we will connect again to the board. Now we are connected at 100 kilohertz, which is working a bit faster. I will show you what's happening. So uh, I have opened the file with file, open file. I select the hex file I wanted to uh, to program, <coughs> and let's go into target program. I didn't uh, select program and verify because that it has already been programmed just before. So for you to see how it is working, just click on start, wait a few, a few seconds, and then you will see the progress bar moving. It took uh, the first, uh, first time it took one minute and a few seconds at 100 kilohertz but it depends of the it depends of the the speed you can choose it depends of the type of your connection of the type of the cables i'm not trying to flash it and to go very uh, quickly so we are now in fla flash memory programming there is no verification so if you click on program and verify then you go into the cycle of verifying memory programmed in 37 seconds so it's all done let's have a look now if our board con can be connected to uh, the INAV configurator or INAV or Betaflight or whatever you want to program okay let's exit disconnect everything <laughs> okay I will remove I will remove the discovery board from here just to keep this in case I need to just to keep the connection in case I need to program it again let's connect the board is flashing flashing fast and keeps flashing so it should be working let's have a look into the INAF configurator come uh, com port uh, 19 and I can now connect. Okay, so everything is erased and everything is, seems to be working. Uh, I need to calibrate the accelerometer. I need to do so now it's my it's another job, but the board is saved. As you can see at the beginning of the video it wasn't working and now I can connect it to my computer. So I have flashed it. I I've saved my my bricked F4 omnibus. So in case of um, if you want to do it on your own, I repeat, be very careful with the soldering points. Don't don't do any bridge. Don't put too much tin. Um, keep your tip soldering tip very clean before any any drop any 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 solder. And uh, you need to use any ST link. So this ST link I take it from this um, discovery board, but.